Hello and welcome. This is a video tutorial for understanding the basics of users and roles in SageStream. By default, there are two logins created while you install SageStream to your local host. The first is the super user and the other is the admin. Uh, a super user is the master of all the portals in SageStream. A super user can create new modules, install modules and also create and configure the roles of an administrator account. Now you can see six tabs placed under the super user login. Now these are the tasks that a super user can perform in SageStream. The first is the admin pages. Here a super user can explicitly control the admin access. For instance, these are the pages that an administrator can access, like the user registration, user activation, page not accessible, and so on. The next menu item in the drop-down list is the module definitions. Apart from the SageFrame default modules, a super user can create new modules and install modules which are developed within the framework to meet their requirements. Now, these are the list of modules like the admin pages, AdSense, Contact Us, we have plenty of them uh, which has been installed in the system. Uh, all of these modules can be assigned to the pages created in the website. You may also refer to the video for creating and assigning modules in SageSpring from SageSpring Video Library. Moving on to the next tab, we have Super User Settings. Within the Super User Settings, you will find two tabs. The first is the Basic Setting and the other is the Advanced Settings. In the Basic Settings, a configuration includes the basic information on the settings for the hosting account. A Super User cannot edit the configuration part. It's only been displayed for the information. Uh, with super user details, uh, default portals, site URLs, and so on can be managed. Whereas a super user can change the theme, choose to show up the copyright credits, and use of custom error messages through the appearance settings. Under the advanced settings of super user settings, a super user can find four setting tabs. The first is the friendly URL settings to integrate friendly URL onto your site. SMTP server settings to manage the settings for mail transfers through your site and through the file manager settings you can assign the files for the admin access in file manager and the other settings field is to allow file extensions and so on. The fourth menu under the super user login is the list management. The list page is a powerful module. Now it can be used by developers to maintain lists of information here you can see lists that has been stored such as country, currency, data type, frequency and so on. Uh, the SQL page displayed under the super user settings displays the SQL module. Like Visual Management Studio Express, one can perform crude operations that is create, retrieve, update and delete data straight away by uploading the SQL files or rewriting your own SQL in SQL Query Analyzer. The last super user settings is the portal management. Uh, portal itself behaves like a new, web new website which has an entirely new design. A super user can add new portal and also assign new modules for these portals. Now these are the tasks a super user can perform in SageStream. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you very much.